So it's autumn again, and for some reason, whenever it's autumn, I always find myself thinking about axes and uh, looking at them online, thinking about buying some. Just, I went ahead downstairs and uh, took out all the ones that I put together, just to kind of remind myself that I really don't need any more, considering I hardly use an axe at all. And actually, I had two other ones. One of them I kind of regret giving away, but anyways, most of these are just, uh, I should say all of them are three and a half pound heads, I believe. Uh, whether they're single bit or double bit, they're all about that size. I kind of like this one here. It's, uh, I think it's Kelly true temper um i like how it's a three and a half pound head with a short handle usually this would be for a, a handle this length would usually be for a lighter weight axe so this one just kind of feels like a camp axe or almost like a weapon um to me something like this is probably more menacing if someone's walking towards you with it than, say, uh, a firearm. Just in my eyes, at least. <clears throat> I don't know about axes. It's probably my ancestry. German, Nordic. But I, uh, I would buy these on eBay and uh, get new handles and just take some spray paint, spray paint the heads and sharpen them up a bit. Fun little hobby. I'm just showing off right now. Don't mind me. This one here is pretty nice looking. I just used uh, electrical tape to do that. Tape off the head, or the, the blade. Sort of has that Gransford's Brooks look. Having the, uh, handle sticking through like that. It's another Kelly, I think. Yeah. Kelly True Temper Perfect. It's probably some of my favorites right here. Whether it be single or double bit. But, um, I'll do a side by side. Like I said, how this one, you can see it. How this one kind of feels like a weapon, almost like a, a camp axe in a way, which is weird for an axe with a big head like that. This one here, it's about the same size, different, different brand. But, uh, as you can see, longer handle. About the same size head. This is a, I think it's a Collins reversible. It sort of looks like it's upside down right now, but you can see it says Collins, so it's it's not upside down. <clears throat> a lot of these were kind of pitted and rusted. They had been well used. And I got them, like this one here, Collins Homestead Axe. You can see all the pitting, even after I spray painted it. But, still plenty of life in it. Not like I use it much anyways. This 
which is kind of cool. It's not very sharp right now, but um, Kelly True Temper Flint Edge. I just like the shape of the head. What got me thinking about these is I was looking at, um, I wanted to get like a lighter weight, shorter single bit axe, like a 24 inch, maybe as low, short as like a 19 inch, like a two to two and a half pound head. I saw one I really liked from Console Tool, that's like $120 or so. I thought, I really don't need another axe that's that expensive. I've got all these and others. These are just the ones I put together myself. If I have five other ones. <clears throat> I have more of these in firearms at this point. It's another Kelly. Still like this, I like the idea of keeping my trunk. Not that I really need an axe in my car. Just it seems like it's something that I should have in there. If that makes sense or not. Alright, I'm just babbling on. I just wanted to show these while they were on my mind. <clears throat>